Lou usually did it homage in here with a video explaining the mechanics behind the two special zombies of the map Mob of the Dead, the Warden and the Demons. The Warden spawns normally about once a round after round 8 or 9, but can also be spawned after frequent use of the random box. Also when you're on the Golden Gate Bridge, multiple Wardens will spawn frequently. All damage done to the Warden will be reduced by 90%, however when his helmet is shot off, he will release several smoke grenades which impair your vision, but loses his damage reduction multiplier, meaning he is far easier to kill. The Warden will attack players, downing them in 2 hits or 3 when they have Juggernaut. When he's not attacking the player, he can lock down perk machines, crafting tables and box spawn locations. To remove the lockdown, it costs 2000 points per attack. So, for example, the first time he locks something down, it'll cost 2000 points to lift it. But if he attacks it again in the same game, it'll cost 4000 points to lift it and so on and so on. He can also smash down barricades, which means that regular zombies can get into the map faster. When you kill the warden, he normally drops a random power up. The second zombie is the demons. They emerge from three p spawn points across the map, marked by a symbol of their head. The first is in the cell block next to the B23R purchase point. The other is in the docks next to the door to the generator room. And the final one is in the infirmary opposite the Uzi purchase point. You activate them by killing a zombie within the line of sight of the symbol. They will then appear and feed on any zombies you kill in their line of sight. They will not feed on zombies killed if they are already eating another zombie. Also if you walk into the demon they will do slight damage however this is pretty insignificant and will take a long time to kill you however they do do damage. When you have fed them a sufficient number of zombies they will retreat leaving a glowing version of this symbol behind them. As each one is fed this one of their symbols glows in the citadel tunnels. When all are lit, the door that is below the triple symbol opens, giving you access to the Hell's Retriever. When it is thrown, the Retriever slashes through zombies, doing major damage, however in later rounds it becomes less effective as a way of killing them. However, if the Retriever hits a power up, it will latch onto it and bring it back to the player. Hell's Retriever has infinite ammo, but there is a short recharge between throws. There's been all agent with an exp explanation of the special zombies of the map and what they drop. Thank you for listening and goodbye.